this is Octave ASMR. I am back for another video. I had originally recorded one, another one, that ended up sounding awful. So then I got into kind of a, a mood where I was trying to figure that all out. So it's been a little while, but I am glad to be back. And I have a new cable coming, which probably won't fix anything, but at least it is not the default cable, which I have heard from reviews and such does not last very long, at least not for most people. So, for the first part of this video, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of hand sounds again and a little bit of rambling, because there were a lot of things that I didn't get to do in my first video that I really like with hand sounds and such, and I was, it was mostly a test, really, to see like what I could do, and then I was testing how long it takes to upload videos to YouTube and how long it takes to edit everything and how long it takes to export things. Which is a long time, just in case you were wondering. But it's good to know. It's good to know how long I have to leave my computer open just running stuff. For the second half of the video, I really did just want to record something so I didn't grab a lot of triggers, but I do have sticky lint roller sounds, which I like, and then I do have a can which makes nice sounds, I think. I think. video, just moving my hands around the vanilla lot made them a little bit less dry, so I unearthed my um, hand antiperspirant lotion to see if that would help a little bit, but it's expired. I used it anyway, and so we'll see if it actually does help with this. It might not. I might need to get more. Another thing I was considering doing was using dry shampoo on my hands, <laughs> which I actually tried on my last video, the one that I did not end up uploading. But I had to reapply it a lot. So let's gather stuff from around the microphone and then dust it away. Gather stuff from around the microphone and dust it away. Have a nice little dome around the microphone. 
get all sorts of junk in it. Gather it up and dust it away. video, which there are some comments I still haven't responded to. I'm very sorry about that. I thought that since I get notifications when I get subscribers, I would get notifications when I get comments, and I don't, so I didn't see them right away. And then I felt bad responding like a week later. <laughs> but I still will. Because... I think it's worth it to show my show my um appreciation cuz I do really appreciate it I just didn't see them for up to 7 days As I was saying, on my last video, I did add subtitles, English subtitles. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to keep that up. I really hope I can keep doing it for a long time, but even this video, I'm talking more than I was in my first one, so it's going to take quite a while to write the captions. Um, the auto-generated ones don't even work at all, so I can't even auto-generate and then edit them, because I guess my voice is too soft for an ASMR video. And so YouTube can't tell what I'm saying at all. But I wanted to make captions, um, and at least keep it up for as long as I can, since... I mean, yes, ASMR matters less, what I'm saying, because it's mostly about the sounds. But there are definitely people who might watch who don't speak English as a first language, or um, don't speak English at all, or um, I personally have some language processing issues that make it so that captions are really helpful even though I do speak English as a first language. So, there are any number of reasons why someone might want captions, but when hard of hearing, of course, and I meant to say that first. So it would be really nice to be able to keep up doing captions, but I figure if I can do them at all for any videos, that's better than doing them for no videos. see a lot of ASMR in captions. Um, I see some, definitely. It's not unheard of. But it just seemed kind of important to me, considering accessibility is very important to me. So I will do my best. And if it helps one person, then that's worth it. Maybe someday I'll be able to ask a friend of mine to do it or something, do the captions, so I'm not sitting there for 
twice the length of the video trying to write captions out. Alright, so let's grab, let's around the microphone, gather it up, and dust it away. Let's grab what's around the microphone. and dust it away. Getting the feeling that the um, lotion I used that is supposed to dry out my hands that was expired. The expiration might have been less of a suggestion. I feel like this is ending up a little bit more sticky than I intended, so maybe I'll title this something along those lines so that people don't get confused. Do a little bit more fluttering. Make it. Let's do flutters down the side of the microphone. Snaps down the side of the microphone. down, up, 
and down. part of the video I did adjust the gain a little bit so I do have I used to need to use this a lot since growing up. I had two dogs which shed profusely. They're still around, they're just at my parents' house, and I moved out now. So every single day that before school, I would then roll and use like three different sheets. that I will be come a few months, but my cat is with my fiance. The cat's name is Sashi. Sashi doesn't really, I mean Sashi sheds, but his fur doesn't really stick to my clothes as much, or if it does, it's the same color as my clothes, so it doesn't matter, at least not nearly as much. I still won't roll a little bit, but not like I did for my dogs. My dogs are white. And I do not wear a lot, of, a lot of white clothes.
is all of fibers from my sweater. I don't think there is anything else on here except for maybe a single one of my hairs. are so creaky. I have a much nicer desk chair than my other apartment, but this, where I'm staying right now, is entirely furnished with stuff that I got off Basic Marketplace for like less than a hundred dollars all told. So this desk chair is not super great. me and I don't know what the difference is. I think it's the pitch of the of how the tapping sounds. I don't like super high pitched triggers. I tend to like bassier ones or like middle of the road. but I forgot how it sounded. <laughs> champagne cheers it's limited edition um i saw it and i don't know what it smells like yet but i got excited because it sounded like it smelled nice because it's notes of champagne and white peach spray because it goes off every 36 minutes and if I 
time it right, I can record in between sprays, as long as I'm doing less than a 36 minute video, which I have so far. But I don't trust myself to time it right. So I just turn it off. And then it's a matter of remembering to turn it back on. Considering the lotion has worked for me in the past, just not for ASMR, I'm gonna guess I just need to replace it. It expired in 2020. It's been a while since I tried to use it, I guess. I am exceptionally nervous about everything. So um, I got it for before interviews so that even if I get nervous I can shake someone's hand and be fine. Um, and that actually worked out really well. So I will I hope I can still buy this kind. Um, just looking at this packaging to make sure I'm allowed to shake it. I mean, it's an aerosol container, but I think it's fine. And I am allergic to fragrance, at least some kind of fragrance. Unfortunately, I forget what the exact number is, but there are some, there are 40 some different chemicals that they can write down as fragrance on in the ingredient lists. It might, it might be a different number than 40, but there, there's a lot. And I'm not allergic to all of them. And so I have to be very careful when I'm buying things with fragrance, and I tend to just avoid it outright. But even things that say, oh, unscented or for sensitive skin also have fragrance in them a lot of times. But those are fine, so I guess they must use a safe kind of fragrance for me. But these don't bother me. And I'm not sure why, because it seems like they would. Maybe it's because it's not making direct contact with my skin.
I'll be done with that. Let's do a little bit more hand sounds to wrap up the video, and then I will call it good and hope that it sounds okay when I listen to it, because I'll be a little bit upset if it isn't. And I'll have to re-record it. If I do have to re-record this, I guess I'll just wait for the new cable I'm getting. Because even if it doesn't change anything, it gives me something to... It does make it easier, because right now I'm kind of... My cables are a mess, and I'm kind of recording in a very interesting way with cables connected to each other, and recording on different devices, and... Getting, getting the video from my camera, which is just my iPad, to my computer has been very difficult because for some reason a direct cable connection doesn't let me transfer them, transfer the video correctly. Alright. Well. It was really nice to record a video. I hope I can post it. It's quite fun to record videos. I just got in a little bit of a funk after one of them didn't work and sounded bad. I was like, oh. And then I had spent quite a while trying to record that and had restarted several times, so I was just in a mood over that. I'm over my mood. back to having fun. So, thank you for tuning in to Octave ASMR. I hope to see you again soon, as long as all goes well. <laughs>